Welcome back to TMZ Live. We told you yesterday about Jacob Elordi and the situation he's going through with an AI deep fake. It appeared to show him in a pornographic situation. It was not him. Not him, but this has happened to Megan The Stallion, happened to Taylor Swift. I think the bigger issue is, and more people who are being affected by this, are non-celebrities. And in fact, uh, it happened to someone in Texas, uh, to a young lady in Texas, and it was such a bad situation, she actually got in touch with her senator, Ted Cruz, and he did something about it in that instance, and then it inspired him to introduce some new legislation. It's called the Take It Down Act, and Senator Cruz is joining us right now to talk about that. Uh, senator Cruz, welcome to TMZ Live. Guys, great to be with you. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. Tell us about the situation that you had with this young lady and why you, you decided to uh, introduce this legislation. Well, look, this is a growing problem that is happening all over the country, and thousands of thousands of young people, particularly teenage girls, are, are being targeted. Uh, in Texas, this, this one uh, teenage girl, uh, Alliston Berry is her name. She was 14 years old. She lives in Alito, Texas, which is in North Texas, just outside Fort Worth. Uh, one Monday morning, she was in ninth grade. She was getting ready for school, and suddenly her phone blew up. She started getting phone calls and texts from her friends. It turned out another teenage boy at her school had, had taken a picture of her, a perfectly innocent picture on social media, and had gone to an app and had used it to make a deep fake of her and made it appear that she was nude. And, and, and this, this teenage boy did this to several girls in the class. He then created fake Snapchat accounts and sent it to almost all her classmates. And so she woke up with, with hearing that their naked pictures being sent to her classmates in ninth grade. And, and you think about how hellish it is just to be a teenager anyway, to wake up with that. Uh, Ellison went in to her mom. She was in tears. She was crying. It was a horrific journey. They found the kid, and, and, and ultimately they found out who did it. He was transferred to another school, but he faced no, no legal penalties, no consequences. And for nine months, Snapchat did nothing. Uh, Elliston's mom, her name is, is Anna McAdams, she repeatedly called, tried to contact Snapchat, saying, look, will you take this garbage down? It's not real. It's fake. It's, it's exploiting and abusing my daughter. And Snapchat just gave her the stiff arm. I'm wondering, because a lot of people are calling for the legislation you're talking about here. But uh, just as a practical matter, it's hard to corral the Internet, yeah. and especially if it's worldwide, which it is, and there are no boundaries to it. So although... I, I mean, personally, what I think is this is necessary. I'm wondering how effective it's going to be given the new world order with what we're seeing with AI and whatnot. Yeah, look, obviously, we're not going to prevent all bad conduct, and there's still going to be horrible things that happen. But what this bill is, is trying to do, and it's a bipartisan bill, uh, I've introduced it with Amy Klobuchar, Democrat from Minnesota. We've got 12 senators, six Democrats, six Republicans, so we've got a broad coalition behind it. It does two things. Number one, it makes it a crime to post or share non-consensual intimate images. And, and whether, it is, whether it is an actual image that was taken consensually, but you didn't share, you didn't agree to have it posted to the world, or whether it's a deep fake that was made with, with, without your knowledge entirely, it makes it a criminal offense to post it. But then secondly, and this is a really important piece on the bill, it puts a legal obligation on big tech that when the victim or victim's family says, hey, th these pictures are, are of me, they're non-consensual, that, 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 that the tech company has 48 hours to take it down. And, and, and that, look, I'll tell you with Elliston, for nine months, the pictures were still up on Snapchat. Her mom told me that last week. And I said, what do you mean? They're still there right now? She said, yeah. I told my staff right then, I said, all right, get on the phone with Snapchat right now. If need be, put me on the phone with the CEO. Let's get this taken down immediately. Within the hour, they pulled it down. Now, frankly, you shouldn't have to have a sitting member of Congress make a call on your behalf. The victim should have that right written into law. That's what this bill would do. They have 48 hours, if this legislation goes down, they have 48 hours to take it down. The issue becomes that even if it's up for 48 hours, other people grab it, and then yep. it's hard to crush it. But you're right, this is... Uh, a step in the right direction. Uh, Senator, we know you've got, your time is short. Before you go, I just wanted to talk to you about, I know a week from today will be the first presidential debate. You've already said, clearly, you are throwing your support behind Donald Trump. What do you expect to see out of this debate next week? Frankly, I, I think Trump's going to kick his ass. I, 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 I think it's going to well, be... Well, we knew you were going to say that. <laughs> that part we knew. <laughs> 
Look, I think Joe Biden, unfortunately, I, I think his mental uh, abilities have really, he's facing dementia, and it, and it really is sad to see. Um, you know, I've known Biden for over a decade, and he's not, when I, was, when I was elected 12 years ago, Joe Biden was vice president, he swore me in. The man who's in the White House today is not remotely the same person that, that, that I knew 12 years ago. Finally, we got to know, who has the inside track for Trump's running mate? I have no clue, Come although on. my prediction, and this is actually in your wheelhouse. So I, I, I think it's going to be, and it already is, a giant apprentice game where, where Trump's going to kind of dangle it with lots of people. And, and at some point, he may point at someone and say, you're fired. And I expect we'll learn right at or right before the convention. And, and I imagine there'll be some some drama, a little bit like LeBron announcing whether he was going to Miami or not. Yeah. I expect that kind of same sort of thing. Do you think he's made his, uh, his the decision himself yet? I, I genuinely don't know. I, I saw him last week. He came and had lunch with all the Senate Republicans, but we didn't get into that at all. He made a point. You know, they're, they're kind of three folks who've been widely reported to be on the short list in the Senate. And so you have Tim Scott and Marco Rubio and J.D. Vance. And he made a point of kind of giving some love and a shout out to all three of them. But I think he's deliberately keeping his cards close to his vest. And I will say he tends to make make decisions, you know, with his gut. So it, my guess is he has not decided yet, but, but I genuinely don't know. All right. Thank you so much for being with us, Senator. We appreciate it. Thank you, Senator. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.